very much on those plumes, yellow and shiners. So yellow and shiners are small fish native to the southeast of the United States. They have a range across Georgia that extends to the parts of North Carolina and South Carolina. Um, and within the state of Georgia, they occur in most river systems. So a previous study identified an interesting pattern of disagreement, of biogeographic disagreement between the nuclear gene transfer and the mitochondrial gene cytochrome B. So here we have a maximum parsimony tree for the nuclear gene transfer. And this um, tree split individuals from seven drainages into two clays with 100% consensus. So on the top clay, we have um, individuals it's 94% individuals from the Flint and Altamaha rivers. And these are the drainages I'm gonna be focusing on in the next slide, so those are Flint and Altamaha. And then the second clade was 97% individuals from the other drainages. So this pattern was not observed when we looked at the tree for the mitochondrial gene cytochrome B. So on the top of this tree, we have the individuals from the Flint River. And in the middle, we have individuals from the Altamaha. And when we look at this tree, we can see that there's a fair bit of distance between these two groups of individuals. And there's also a lot of individuals from the other drainages in this part of the tree. And on this branch with the individuals from the Altamaha, there's actually individuals from um, five drainages. So um, this pattern of disagreement between the native, between loci is called discordance. And to further look at this pattern of discordance, I've been analyzing microsatellite loci. Um, with our microsatellite data, I've conducted Mintel tests to compare pairwise genetic distances or GFT values. Um, so from this, we would expect that if two loci have a similar evolutionary history, that we would find a positive correlation. So what's interesting is that we did not identify any significant positive correlations, but we did identify two significant negative correlations. And one was between one of our microsatellites and the mitochondrial gene cytochrome B. And the second was between um, the mitochondrial gene cytochrome B and nuclear transparent. So this, um, these negative correlations indicate that these loci have not shared similar evolutionary histories. So what I'm gonna be doing um, for the rest of summer is increasing our sampling size and the number of sampling sites per drainage as well as the number of loci that further look into this pattern of discordance between the mitochondrial and nuclear loci. And uh, by doing this, I hope to look at, um, be able to look at binary scale genetic structure as well as increase our power for analyzing um, allele frequencies. And then I'd like to thank my lab, the Warriors Lab and Freeman Lab at the University of Georgia as well as the Genetics Department and the Integrated Life Sciences Program and the Georgia Museum of Natural History. I guess.